says, Karen, he's just good to us. <clears throat> I was looking at the weather today and we're getting a heartache. Uh, first of October. And we're going to see some Arctic weather down here first of October. You know what that does to the hurricane season? Yes. <laughs> Thank God, thank yes, God, we don't need no storm. Right. You know, I, mean, I don't know remember when we had Arctic weather in October. Right. It cools off, but not Arctic. That's just God. Amen. The winds have blown back. Amen. It's just God. Anyway, He's good to us. If you got your Bibles, Amen. Just. Uh, I'll be honest with you, this didn't get to marinate much. I got in this morning, so. But God's still God. Amen. First Timothy chapter 2. And, uh, First Timothy chapter 2. Amen. I just, uh, I just, uh, God's just merciful. Church, He's good to us. And, uh, and if we just open our eyes and see and be sensitive to the Spirit, we can see what God has done and is going to do. Uh, he's, uh, he's good to us. But I just want to read that very, you know, sometimes <clears throat> I recognize I may need to read and explain my, what I got from the Lord. But anyway, let's just read the very first verse and then uh, I'll explain what God told me. It says, I exhort, therefore, that first of all, I want you to all notice all the commas in this verse. I'm not no English major or whatever, but I've got I started looking three or four years now at just the way things are set up. <clears throat> and I the only thing that caught my eye was all of the commas in this in this verse. And there's a reason, by the way. I exhort thee therefore that First of all, supplications, prayers, intercessions, and giving thanks be made for all. Everybody say that word all. Oh, oh. Not for you, just you, but for all men. Very important. Amen. Very important. Very important. Let's just pray and uh, then this thing talk. Yeah. I'm afraid I'm going to bust somebody's ear during this. I feel like God's going to show up. Amen. Amen. Let's just pray and uh, go before the Lord. Lord God, as we come before you, Lord, with this word tonight, Lord Jesus, say just nothing like you. Nothing like you, Lord God. Nothing like you, Jesus. And Lord, I just ask you right now, God, just to be God. Just to be God. Lord, I just ask you to be God in this place tonight, Lord Jesus. For there is none like you, Lord. There is none like you, Lord God. And I would just ask you right now, God, to anoint, to anoint this word, Lord God, I pray. Anoint your servant, Lord God. I know I get excited about you, and I know I want to run, Lord God. I get it. Lord, I want to have the message, Lord God. I just don't want to be the runner. It was in the Old Testament because he just wanted to run, but didn't have a message, Lord. But Lord, I want to have a message for you people tonight, Lord God. And I pray, God, let me deliver it. God, what all I wrote down, God, that it makes sense to these, Lord. Lord, you said by the foolishness of preaching, Lord, you saved your people, Lord God. And I just want to preach your word, Lord God. I just want to preach, Lord God, I pray. Lord, I ask you right now your faith, Lord. Bless your people, Lord God, I pray. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let the abundance of the Holy Ghost come in this place, Lord, I pray. My God, my God. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen, Hallelujah, mighty God, mighty God, mighty God, mighty God. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Sometimes we don't get things just right. Amen. You know, I, I said before that there's times that we look, and um, I've said it many times because I, I believe in the Lord. I just believe in the Lord. I just believe in the Lord. And Sister Carrie, when circumstances ain't right, 
I don't blame God. I say that something ain't, something ain't gelling, something's out of whack, something, one of us ain't done something, something ain't right for God not to move. Because the Bible says that we can ask and receive. Right. That's the way I believe it. I'll, you, I will never veer from that. But I, I, I want to share something with you that the Lord give me. I'm going to take you to another spot in the Bible. But I, I again, knowledge is power. It's one of the gifts. He said, my people are destroyed because they don't have it. They rejected the truth. But tonight, I, I just think sometimes we just forget. Sometimes, Brother Bo, it's hard not to just pray about our problems. Right. About where we going. Amen. But we got to have the heart of the Lord in this thing. Yeah. We've got to be Christ-like. That's what they claim the Christians supposed to be, Christ-like. Right. Well, we got to be Christ-like. we got to we got to have the mind of the Lord. And that's what Paul said. Who have the mind of the Lord? Amen. Amen. But look at this. I just I want to look at this first word and exhort. Amen. I'm going to lay a foundation and I pray God turns me loose. This word exhort means strongly encouraged to do something. I want, I, I want that picture because again you got to pay attention to all your commas in this verse. But again, that word exhort means to strongly encourage, uh, encourage to do something. You know, we, we got to set forth to see the need. And sometimes I feel that what Sister Jennifer was talking about, it's just the next box, it needs to be checked. Um, this Israel thing and all. And I, again, it does not justify you and I to put on brakes. Put our pull our put up pull off the gas, knock it in neutral, whatever term you want to say, because the Lord's coming. Because all I can think about, Sister Crystal, is what the Lord said in, in the parable, What shall I find my servant doing when I return? And that's always troubled me. Always is tr not troubled me, but I've always kept that in my, my subconscious mind. Amen. I want to be doing something for the Lord. Amen. I don't want to be it's what Paul said, one beating at the air. I, I want to right. be doing. Right. I just don't want to come in this building. Right. Come right. On. My God, I can pray at the house. Come right. on, I read his word at the house. Yes. Y'all come to my house, I'll pray for you. <laughs> I mean, I ain't got to come in this building and get God to move for me. Amen. That makes sense. Right. So when we yes. come together as one, right. I want to exhort. I yes. want to encourage, yes. amen, that something happens in this thing. I, I want to get something out of it. I, right. I don't read it, amen, because, boy, I'm under pressure and i got to preach. Right. I, I want to learn. I mean, I want to learn, Sister Shelley, I want to learn about my Lord. And I want to know Him. And I want good favor with Him. And I, I want to get into this thing about that thing that Sister Jennifer called Sun School because I got part of that too that I want to uh, tie into this thing because I, I got something. The Lord ministered to me this morning. But it said, first of all, exhort therefore that, first of all, that supplications. Supplication means this asking for something earnestly and humbly. Because in the end of this verse, it said, be made for all men. Right. Right. And giving thanks of thanks be made for all men. There's a guy in the Bible that done that. And done it all the time. And it said prayers. What is prayers? It's a solemnly request for help or expression of thanks addressed to God. Action, excuse me, a solemn request for help. Yes. Now we should be praying for folks, but this intercession, I, I wanna I want to 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 it says for action of interview or intervening on behalf of another, standing in the gap. Yes. Right. Amen. And giving thanks be made of men to oh, excuse me, of all men. And I, I was thinking of that. I won't take you, I gotta take you somewhere, but I there was a guy in the Bible that done this all the time. A guy was named Job. The Bible said he was a perfect man. But he said he continually prayed. Right. He continually made that sacrifice for his kids. Right. Yes. Why? On their behalf. Right. How much more should we as a church exhort 
Right. Amen. Prayers, supplication, and intercession. Amen. Thanksgiving for men. Yes. Right. Giving thanks. Right. Amen. The person that don't even know they're getting prayed for. That's I'm right. talking about them folks. Yes. I'm talking about when you buckle down and break your knees down and pray. Yes. You're amen. praying for, for that, that lost one out there that don't even know they lost. Right. That one on the other side of the world. We good. Right. And the thing that drives me insane, we good. Amen. And I, you know, want to send food or whatever overseas. But again, if we do the joke thing. Lord, I know I'm here, but you over there as well as you over here. That's right. That's right. If, 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 if I can pray and intercede and stand in the gap, will you send, send them somebody? Right. Am I right? right? And we, we, should we be praying that way? They got a soul too. Absolutely. It's not our soul, but, but the thing, if we're going to be Christ-like, Sister Karen, I, again, I want to take you somewhere. I just want to make sure that, that we, we get the, bullet, the, 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 the full benefit of this walk. Yeah. And I think sometimes we don't get full benefit of the package of what's issued out to us because we get hindered. I say it sometimes that Satan puts the carrot in front of us where it be one of our loved ones or whether it be a situation and, and the Lord, amen you remember what he said, he said greater things that we would do than he's done, yeah. amen yeah. but we got to teach, amen, how powerful God is, yeah. Yeah. sometimes in our mind, and I get it, that we say oh he's powerful, he spoke this place into existence and, and, and all of that, we, you know, we get upside down and inside out about how good he is, and we say he's, a, you know, the our, our, our whatever, you know, he's this and that to us, but at the end of the day, we don't realize he's sitting in Africa tonight. Right. Yes. We don't realize he's sitting in England tonight. Right. Amen. Somebody's preaching somewhere yes. besides here in Maker. That's right. And, they, That's and right. they're praying out yes. to him. Yes. They don't realize he's in Canada, China, he's everywhere. He's everywhere. If you really can comprehend that, but if we would pray. How many of you pray for the men and women over there that's sticking their neck out for right. the faith of God? Amen. And when's the last time we prayed that prayer? And when's the last time that you prayed, amen, for a Russian fella? Amen, that you don't even know. You prayed for their souls in that state, in, in that country. Amen. amen, or Italy, or name them out. Amen. It doesn't matter. When have you buckled down and said, Lord, I want, I want to pray. Amen, I, I want to encourage, amen, all of this, amen, to happen, amen. Trying to get you somewhere. Look at this, if you will, with me for a moment. I want to go to 1 Corinthians, if you will. Amen to 12, 28. Amen. I, I ain't going to hold you long, but I I want us. Amen. I I just don't believe in doing something to be doing. Amen. I, I just ain't that fella. Amen. I, time is too short. I had a friend of mine that, that passed away. He said that life was too short to fish with dead crickets. Amen. Every time the cricket was dead on the heat. He'd flip it and get alive one, amen. He said, life's just too short. Life is too short, amen. And, we, and we're and we called, amen. And I, I think about what it says in Isaiah 54. I, I believe it's in 54 Isaiah where he said, amen, that where he sent his word, amen, that it would not come back void. That's right. Amen. But where he sends it, amen, that it would prosper, amen. And I, and I thought about that. My God, I thought about that. And I thought... Amen about our radio ministry. I thought, uh, I know we put this thing on YouTube now, but I thought about that word, how that word is supposed to feed folks. It's, it's supposed to break them. Not because I'm preaching, anybody can be preaching. I, I listen to other preachers. I, 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 I got Sister Karen listening to Brother Arnold. I, mean, I believe he's a preaching machine. I mean, he's, in, he's I, I, I've gotten fed by him. You know what I'm saying? I, I believe it's anybody, but this word, amen, is supposed to break yoke. This word is supposed to give life. This word is supposed to deliver. Yeah, amen. Right. This word is supposed to sanctify, justify. Amen. When you grab it, you won't have hope in it. Yeah. I, I believe that. Well, let's look at this, if you will. In, in, in 1228, I, I, want, I want to show you this. It says that God has sent some in the churches, first apostles, secondarily prophets, thirdly teachers, and after that miracles. Then the gifts of healings. And now you see all these commas again. Helps, governments, diversities of tongues. And it goes in verse 29. It says they're all apostles. 
Are all prophets, are all teachers, are all the workers of miracles, have all the gifts of healings, do all speak with tongues, do all interpret? Y'all see this? I mean, it's 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 question marks and 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 comments making statements. That's one of the comments there, church. Uh, covet earnestly. The, it says here, but covet covet earnestly the best gift, and yet show I unto you more an excellent way. And I want to stop there because it gets into something that we need. And we talk love all the time, church. My God, we talk that word. We talk that word all the time. Love you, baby, whatever. But that, learn, that, that word is more than they come, what comes out of your mouth. That's right. There's more to that word. And I, I, I want to share something with you, if it be all right. Because I was sitting there in the dark thinking about this this morning, about love, and about what Sister Jennifer was talking about being debt to God. And I know it probably seemed like I was blaspheming and said, we ain't debt to God. We ain't none of us debt to God because that's the way he made us. But I, I want to clear something up to make sure everybody understands. Paying debt gets old. Right, right. It right. gets old. Yes. And the only way, the only way that you can stay married is if you love. Right, yes. I agree. Because there's one, I, I, I was thinking on a layman term thing about an engine. <clears throat> I know your little old car out there's got all these bells and whistles on it. But you know, you take all them bells and whistles off of that thing and you make that engine run. Wow. You take all that computer, am I right, Brother Bo? You take all that computer stuff off of it. And as long as you've got air, <clears throat> gas, and, or compression, uh, let me get it right. Compression, spark, and gas, you can make that thing fire up and run. But there is one commodity of that engine you got to have that makes that rascal last. A one important thing. That baby bowl ain't got oil in it, she will not make it. She will not last. And you will not make this journey living for the Lord if you do not love. I, I want to I want to share that tonight. I want everybody to make sure you understand where I'm trying to come with this tonight. This this debt thing, you know, and and, and love and, and and different. When we look at this, you can't you can't look at the Lord. I was thinking of of Mary and Martha this morning. I mean, the reason true love was shown when Mary said, "If my brother, if you would have been here, my brother would not have died." Martha did not have that love in her eyes that Mary had. That's what moved the Lord Church. When it's when we're sold out and we're not looking at this as a debt mode. We're not looking at this as debt. I, I don't look at this as debt. So, so when we get over here back to 1 Peter, this exhort, I'm not doing it that I keep my hide out of hell. I'm doing it because I love. I want everybody to make sure you understand that tonight. That's what, what Paul has printed here for you in Corinthians. Amen. You know, some people desire, and there's nothing wrong. Some people want to be called apostle this, and some, some people want to be called prophet this. This name calling business. But Paul is trying to teach here that some of that sister Karen is in the church. There's nothing wrong with it. It edifies the church. It builds the church. But he said there is a more perfect way. Amen. And Job had it. Because Job loved his children. Job loved the Lord. And he done it. The Bible said it always, always hit me. Amen. Because the Bible said he done it continuously. He was up and down. He didn't have a dry spot in it. Today the Lord don't love me. Amen. Right now I'm running to the grocery store or whatever it is. And I'll catch the Lord on my way back. But the Bible said that he done it. Amen. If you'll go back and read it. He done it. Amen. That his children would, 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 would fare. Amen. That they would have longevity. Because he was scared they might have fainted the Lord. Right. Amen. Right. So if we look at this church. Let's just look for a moment. 
And go back to Timothy about the supplication, about the intercession, about the prayers. Amen. That it be good. Amen. That we give thanks for, for all men if we stand in the gap for humanity. Yes. Ain't that how the tongue got passed? Yes. He said, go and tarry in Jerusalem. And when it comes, embrace it. And I'm going to send you out again on the day of Pentecost. You're going to be able to preach. Amen. And I want you to go to the uttermost and be a witness. Amen. Yes. And sometimes yes. we just forget that part. Yes. As I was looking at this, and I, 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 I got some of these notes here, but I but I, I want you to, to, to grab this, and I may not be making any sense to y'all tonight, but it made a ton of sense to me as the Lord was giving it to me. Sometimes we just fail, amen, because all we see Sister Karen is this. Mm -hmm. And our God is way bigger than this. Right. 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 Don't take this the wrong way, but sometimes all we see is Missouri, the Phineac, Mossy Head, Crestview, right. Andalusia, and we forget how big this God is that we got. Yes, right. that's right. That's right. But if we love, we say we love him. We say we do. We say we do. But if we love him, think about it. There shouldn't be nothing, amen, that we wouldn't do, amen, to see a soul saved. Can you get to Japan tonight, Brother Bo? Can't nobody fly nowhere. But if there's a soul over there that's crying out, mm -hmm. shouldn't we stand in the gap tonight, sister? Amen. Do, do we not say we serve an all-knowing God? Yeah. Don't we say that? That's what we brag about. Yeah. We brag about that all the time. About this I am thing. He's everything. Can't measure so if that be the statement that we're going to back ourselves up with, shouldn't we be able to? I mean, it goes on and says this in 13. Man, I just, you know, the tongue is going to cease, but there's one thing that is not going to cease is love. And again, what shall I find my servant doing when I come back? Should I not? Should he not be encouraging and exhorting? Lord, can you give us one more before you come? My mother makes this statement and, it, and I thought about it and it makes sense. She said, as long as there's life, there's hope. And I thought about that and that makes sense. But the one thing that I thought about, Brother, Brother Bo, once somebody gives up the ghost. You ever thought about that from that point on? What happens? Mm -hmm. There's no way they can return back. Right. Right. Because everything's revealed. Yes. No, Sometimes we go, ooh, and we correct it here while we got air. Right. While we got life right. in us. We correct. But once they give up the ghost, they will have knowledge. Mm -hmm. And they're going to know. But they can't return. Mm -hmm. right. And I thought about this. <clears throat> you remember Rich Man and Lazarus? Y'all remember the, the story that the Lord had spoke? Yeah. And how Lazarus asked, or excuse me, the rich man asked <clears throat> for Abraham to go back to his brothers. Go back and read that, if you will, if you want to. If you want something that'll run chill bumps up your spine. Abraham said it won't do no good. Right. So, just like I preached to you Sunday about Satan being ED, judged. Yes. His brothers were already judged and they didn't realize it. And he had no way of getting to them saying, hey, look, you want to change. Mm -hmm. Think about our soul tonight. Think about the soul that's in the balance tonight, church. I want us to be found, Brother Bo, blameless. May sound crazy to you tonight, but I want this church to be found blameless. That when we speak his name, it does not come back void. Right. But where it goes, right. it, it accomplishes. Right. 
Because you know when we pray for people and we lay hands on them, nothing happens. You know what happens to on that side, not this side, but you know what happens on that side? Doubt. Yes. Yeah. Why didn't something happen? Right. I want us to be found exhorting. I want us to be found intercessing. I want to find us praying. Y'all, I want to find us supplicating this, yeah. in this thing for the Lord. I want us to walk humbly before him, Sister Crystal, that when we lay hands, people are going to feel the fire. And they're going to know when, where they accept, that ain't up to us. But that love for all men, giving thanks for all men. Everybody get a chance. Do you pray that way? Lord, you give me a chance, give that guy out there a chance or that woman a chance like you give me. Do we pray that? God is good, church. Amen. God is good. Yes. I, I, I'm ready for revival. I'm just trying to get us in a revival mode. I want fruit to come from revival. 